The worst part about it is that there was a viral post, a Facebook post from a guy, apparently a lot of folks in Jackson know that he's full of it, right? That just goes on and states all of these blatant lies. And this post has been reposted and reposted and reposted and blasted all over social media all around the world about all the bad things that Jackson State did to Deion Sanders. And the, the top two things that I keep seeing that, that are just, I mean, come on, man, they're just not true, are they didn't pay him in his ticket sales and that he is the re he had to pay for the new student center. And Jackson State fans, alumni, and supporters have been fighting back on this narrative this entire time. They've been like, man, to hell with that. That, that stuff ain't true. Y'all heard it on this show. I've had callers come on and state why that isn't true, right? And so all of that has been taking place. And so Prime went on Earn Your Leisure. Really good job on Earn Your Leisure, by the way, back in September, October-ish. And he talked about, he used a, he used an example of bad business practice, not at Jackson State, but bad business practices that have been taking place across HBCU sports in general. Just bad business deals that HBCUs were in. And he used an example. He just used an example about like, if I'm supposed to get a certain amount of money after X amount of tickets are sold, well, I need to get my money. That was the example we made. And I watched the Earn Your Leisure thing live. And I was like, I didn't think nothing of it. But a lot of people, now that he's left for Colorado and he's got the big bag at Colorado, they're research, regurgitating that message that he used and saying, this is why he left. This is why he left. Because you, if you, it takes 10 minutes of research and you'll find out this stuff just isn't true. But anyway, so that is where we're going now. So Jackson State, they've been eating crow in the media because people have been saying that they're, they stole from Deion Sanders because of whatever reason. I don't know if it's people around Prime's camp or what, but, but there's a lot of this BS garbage being fed to different outlets. And Jackson State finally said, yo, to hell with that. We got enough. And this is a statement that has been put out by Jackson State University via the young reporter out of Jackson, Mississippi. He says, breaking, I reached out to Jackson State University regarding the recent rumors accusing them of withholding ticket revenue from Deion Sanders. And this was the school's response. Small thread, one of five. And this was the response from the school. And shout out to Jackson State for finally so saying to hell with all of that. We are going to set the record straight. It says, quote, and I quote, Jackson State University has honored all financial obligations of Coach Deion Sanders' employment. The video in question, which is the Earn Your Leisure video, was filmed on September 20th on our campus. Unfortunately, a seconds-long excerpt using a hypothetical example from an over 60-minute interview is being used out of context and circulated as fact. Meaning, you big goofballs, if y'all are running with this hypothetical situation and using it as fact, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. 